Hey guys, so today I have another one of my Face Mask Friday videos. Um, today I'm actually going to be doing it on the All Natural Face Pure Rasool Clay Mask. I hope I'm saying that right. I didn't actually look up the pronunciation, which I guess I should have done. I looked up everything else about the mask, but not the pronunciation, so... Um, this is just pure um, Rasool Clay. There's no other additives in this. They do have um, a couple of other masks on the website where they have some of this clay mixed with other clays and other extracts and essential oils and things like that to um, for targeted for different skin conditions. So if you're subscribed to the monthly beauty box that the All Natural Face sends out every month, um, you would have gotten this in your box. And I opened this up yesterday and I was really excited to see this in the box because you know me, <laughs> I love face masks. I like, I get so excited when there's a face mask in this box. That's like the first thing my eye goes to, so. So I'll just give you some information about the clay, and then I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than I did last week, because um, I'm not actually going to be showering or putting on makeup today, so I'm just going to be going through this um, from start to finish, just mask and then demo and then, you know, review. Since this is sort of a first impression as well, because I haven't actually used this kind of clay before, um, I don't think, I'm pretty sure that I haven't used this in any other mask of any kind, so this will be a brand new experience for me. So this two ounce jar that the All Natural Face sells on the website sells for $5.75. This is the one ounce jar. So this, um, the value of this is about somewhere between like two eight, two eighty dollars and $3 or something like that. Um, but you can buy this in a lot of different places. I actually found it on Amazon, um, a big eight ounce jar for 20 bucks. So you can definitely find it places cheaper than the All Natural Face sells it. Um, if you, you know, so choose to buy from, you know, different different companies. Um, but this this clay is also called um, Red Moroccan Clay. I think um, now Food sells a clay that's actually titled Red Moroccan Clay, so it would be the same thing. Um, it's also called Red Clay or Oxide Clay, or there was also another one, it was like Gazool Clay or something like that. I didn't write that one down because I can't pronounce it and I probably just butchered it. So, um, But this specific clay, the Red Moroccan Clay or the Rezool Clay, is mined in Morocco in the Atlas Mountains. So all of the uh, Razul clay or red Moroccan clay comes from Morocco, which is really interesting to me. And the word Razul is derived from the Arabic word for washing, um, as this can also be used as a shampoo or a hair treatment, which I found interesting. I've never used any kind of clay for any kind of hair or anything, so I, that really intrigued me as well. So if you use this on your skin, it reduces dryness, improves skin clarity and elasticity, and has extractive abilities that remove impurities and unblock pores. And in some studies that I found, there was a list of things that this proved that it could do for people's skin. Um, improves skin texture, reduces dryness, reduces flakiness, improves skin elasticity and firmness, and improves skin clarity. And then some other uses and benefits of using this kind of clay is it can be used as a daily cleanser instead of soap, so you can even just wash, so you can even just wash your face with this clay. Um, mixed with other ingredients, it can be used as a facial scrub, such as oats, almonds, and essential oils. Um, another use is for hair shine restoration. Um, mixed with argan oil, and then apply the mixture to your hair to restore shine. Um, it could be used as a homemade spa to soften the skin, remove dead skin cells, and strengthen nails. Since early times, Moroccan women have used this clay as a hair shampoo. It is said that the clay enhances the hair texture and volume, softens the hair, and eliminates dandruff. Um, it has a powerful negative electromagnetic charge. While, while the majority of toxins under your skin have a positive charge, this makes this clay treatment ideal for drawing out impurities and detoxifying your skin. And it's also, I found this interesting, used as an arthritis treatment. Um, clay dressings create a warming effect on sore joints, reduce inflammation, as well as enhancing movement. So yeah, those are just some of the things that this clay um, can do for you or the benefits of it. Um, I, I find them all really interesting that this can be used for so many. And I think I already said something like this, but I wrote it down. Um, as a hair treatment, it, cleans the, it cleanses the hair, removing impurities, and leaves the hair bouncy and voluminous. Um, so to use it, you just mix it with water or some other um, binder of your choice, whether it be like aloe vera gel or aloe vera or honey or yogurt or something, and then you just mix it until it's the consistency that you want to be and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Typically with clay masks, 
I like to mix in other stuff with it to make it more potent and effective. Like I'll mix in tea tree oil or aloe or rose water. Sometimes I'll throw in my face foods or something like that. But just for the sake of trying this for the first time on its own, I'm just going to use the clay and water to see how that works and then sort of tailor it to my skin's needs after that. So all I've done to my face this morning is I just washed it with some of the cherries and cream face food that, that we also got in our box this month from the All Natural Face. So I'm just and I so I'm just going to be mixing this with some water. So I brought in just some water, a little bowl, and a mixing spoon. So I'm going to mix in. I'm not really sure how much to use. Maybe like a teaspoon or two teaspoons worth of clay. Generally, I like to mix. A decent amount. So I think I'm going to start with this much and then I can just add more clay in um, if I need to. And then I'll just use probably about the same amount of water because I like mine to be a little bit runnier. I don't really like um, like dry masks. Okay so this is the consistency that I like my masks to be. I don't like them to be you know, like super firm, but I like them to be, you know, just a little bit runny so I can um, easily spread them on my face. Sometimes I find when they're too thick, it just, it makes a mess. So I'm just going to spread this all over my face. Okay, so here's what we got. Um, I didn't mention this before and I was planning on it and then just forgot, but uh, my skin since last week has gotten a little bit better. I'm trying to be really minimalist in what I'm doing with my skin because sometimes I'm one, you know, I'm one of those people that sometimes does too much and then that sort of breaks my skin out. So I'm limiting, you know, like the kind of stuff I put on my skin and how much. So I'm trying to do like healing oils and stuff to just help my skin get back to, you know, the way it was before I broke out like crazy last week. Um, so my skin is a lot better. I've definitely got a lot of red marks still, but my breakouts have sort of slowed down, except sort of like around this area. I'm breaking out a lot, like around my mouth. It's really weird and I hate breaking out there too because it's, no, I just don't like it. So that's what I got going on with my face today. So I'm hoping that this will help sort of like draw out some of the remaining nasty stuff that's like in my skin. And then I can do something other than a clay mask next week, which I really want to do, so. Um, so two other things that I wanted to talk about sort of while I'm waiting for the mask to dry are the, um, the other two products that I got in the beauty box that you just watched on Monday that I was really excited about. So the first one was the organic, I'm going to butcher this again, the, high, the Gila Chrysum Hydrosol Toner. Um, this bottle's empty. I put it in just like a spray bottle because I don't really like these, the droppers on these things. And also the 100% pure organic Moroccan argan oil. These were the two things that I was, uh, besides the mask, that I was the most excited about. So some stuff about the toner is it's a strong anti-inflammatory, so it's supposed to help with redness and sensitivity, and it's helpful in speeding the recovery of wounds and scars and to combat and soothe acne and eczema. So I had actually, I've never heard of this either, and I've never used this on my skin, so I was really intrigued by this product to hope that it would help sort of also combat the acne that I've got going on and that it would help heal my skin. So this is, so and something else I also found interesting about the toner is that the essential oil or the toner itself can be used on pets for incisions or cuts to help heal too. So it's, you can use it on your pets and it's pet safe. And I, I read some um, reviews from a few people that said that they used it on their pets after like a surgery or something like that and it helped heal a lot faster than it would on its own. So that's definitely something I'll keep in mind if my pets ever have surgery or like, you know, get a cut or whatever, it's not bound to happen. I don't think it's it's that bound to happen, but you know, it's something to keep in mind if you've got pets and you're wondering what you can do for your pets, that's sort of like holistic and natural. So then the argan oil, which is another thing that I was really excited about, is this is 100% argan oil from Morocco. There's no other added oils or deodorant. It's not, 
There's no other added oils and it's not deodorized to reduce the smell. I haven't actually pulled the top off of this one yet, so I'm not exactly sure what it smells like. I don't have any other pure argan oils in my skincare, so I'm not exactly sure what it smells like. Some people say it smells really bad and some people don't mind the smell. I guess it just sort of depends on your preference. So this oil specifically is rich in tocopherols, phenols, keratins, squalene, and fatty acids. Um, it can be used for skin, hair, and nail treatments to deliver deep hydration, strengthen your hair and nails, and prevent and reduce stretch marks, like if you're pregnant or something. Um, it repairs skin, increases elasticity, and decreases wrinkles. And this is just an interesting fact I found out about the argan oil tree, which I didn't know before. So the argan tree lives between 150 and 200 years and does not start producing the fruit for the argan oil until it's about 30 to 50 years old. And there, the tree is only grown in a certain area of the world, which makes the oil quite rare. So I found that really interesting, and I have seen that argan oil generally, good quality argan oil is more expensive, and I always wondered why, so that's definitely why. It's the trees only produce it within a certain period of their life, and or they only start producing within a later part of their life, and it's only grown in a certain section of the world, and it's limited, so I found that really interesting. And I like learning new things, so I thought I might share that with you. I've had this on about five, five, six minutes already, and I don't... This one might take a little bit longer to dry. I don't know, because I left on like a thicker layer or what, but um, it, this will probably take quite a while to dry, so I'll probably cut this off and come back when it is dry. But just some things I'm noticing, like the clay mask that I did last week, um, I definitely feel some like tingling, itching sensation. That might just be a sensation you get with all clay masks. Um, but it definitely feels like itchy around where the parts where I can feel it like drying. So I will come back once this is fully dry, um, probably again like last week about an hour. I'll probably play some video games or something just to pass the time. Um, but I'll be back before I wash this off so we can sort of see what it looks like fully dry and if it's sort of, you know, settled into the, into the pores like some of these do. And I've got generally really large pores, so, I mean, that's possible. So I will be back, I had that bottle in my hand. So I'll be back in a little while and we will go from there. Okay, so the mask has been on probably 20 minutes at this point and it is fully dry. The color didn't change that much, it just, it got a little bit lighter, but... It's not like it changed too, too much. Um, I did notice some throbbing. It's subsided now, but there was a little bit of throbbing somewhere in there, maybe around like 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. And my face is feeling pretty tight. Like I can't open my mouth that wide and I actually, I'm gonna, I was planning on leaving it on a little bit longer, but I wanna eat, so <laughs> I'm gonna wash it off. Um, but yeah. It feels kind of tight. It's just, you know, it's a tiny bit uncomfortable like most clay masks, but it's not anything unbearable. There was a little bit of itching and like, you know, tingling, but again, it wasn't too unbearable. So I'm gonna go wash this off and then I will be right back. Okay, so here is my freshly washed face. It's a little bit red just because of the um, increased circulation to the face, but my skin is so soft. Um, it was a little bit difficult getting off just because the clay had hardened really hard onto my face. So it took a little, it was a little bit of a struggle to get it um, totally off my face, but it feels really soft. And I took a look at my pores as well, and they do seem a lot smaller than they were when I started. It's kind of hard for you guys to tell that, um, but I could definitely see a difference in the size of my pores. Of course, that's only temporary, but um, it is nice to have smaller pores, at least for a little bit. So I really like the way that this feels. Um, my skin just feels so soft, but I really like the way that my skin feels. This is definitely a clay mask that I would use if I'm having like a breakout or I need some healing. I just definitely feel like this did a really good job. So I'm actually going to use the two other things that I talked about, the toner and the argan oil. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the argan oil because I've heard that it doesn't sink in that well. And after a mask like this, I generally like to be sort of minimal. I like to do a toner and then I like to do an oil. I don't like to put like all kinds of stuff on my face because I sort of like my face to like really take in the oils and just really like heal itself. So I'm going to spray on the toner. 
and I don't have the best spray bottle for this. I might need to go get a new spray bottle. It smells really interesting. It smells like like caramel maple tea. I don't know. It smells really weird. I think um, Cherie described it as marshmallow and I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what else she described it as, but I remember she described it as marshmallow and then, oh, cardboard and something, hey, hey, cardboard and uh, uh, marshmallow. But for me, it smells more like caramel, like maple syrup. It's sort of weird. It's weird that it smells like different for other people. So this is supposed to help with inflammation and redness. So I'm definitely hoping that this helps take it down like a little bit. My skin will be red for a little bit afterwards anyway, but it, it shouldn't, you know, last for too long. So now I'm going to just do a couple drops of the Moroccan Argan Oil. I'm not going to do too much. Oh, I need to take the top off. Huh. So I'm just going to do... I'll start with four drops and sort of see how my face takes it. Just rub it in between my hands and just sort of press it into my skin. That seemed to make my face more red. <laughs> I don't know if that's just from me like touching my face or if it's from the oil. I'm not really sure. We'll see if it goes down in a minute or two. So it seems like the redness may have come down a tiny bit. My skin is really weird. Like it doesn't like being touched very much. So um, I get red really easily and I stay red for a little while, which is kind of annoying. Um, so I'll just deal with this for the rest of the day. I'm not going anywhere anyway. So I'll have to see how the argan oil suits my skin and um, how it does over the rest of the day. See if it breaks me out or anything like that. I've never used just straight argan oil on my skin. Um, the Moon Serum that I like does have some argan oil in it. And my skin responds really well to that. So I'm hoping my skin responds really well to this argan oil. Um, which is just straight argan oil. So that was my review and demo and sort of like first impression of the Razul clay mask along with the toner and the argan oil that I got in my December all natural face monthly beauty box. I will leave the link for that unboxing below if you'd like to see that if you haven't already. And I'm pretty happy with the stuff that I got in this month's box. It was I, I really like getting a mask and I've now found a new clay mask that I really like and enjoy so and the, even after using it, I've still got like a really decent amount of size of this left. So this will last me probably four or five more uses, which is nice because I'll probably use it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments or questions or suggestions or anything regarding face masks or the Rizol Clay or Argan Oil or the toner, definitely let me know below and I'll get back to you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.